The following video is rated E for educational purposes only. But to be clear, I don't know anything about nothing. Hey guys, this video will answer the question that so, so, so many of you have been asking me this year. How can you quote unquote get dread hunger in 2024 as a wannabe new player? This is such an important video to get new players into Dreadhunger and expand our player base to a new audience. So let's not waste any time and... But first! Wow, wow, wow! Part of the crew, part of the Shu t-shirts available now at plomo.com forward slash merch, as are many other designs. Some even say that they've experienced an increase in the number of Thrall games they get in Dreadhunger after purchasing a Thrall-themed design from Plomo. Plomo's merch store, the home of Dreadhunger's best merch. Now, Plomo swears his merch is great, but we really only have his word to go on. There is a small chance that you may become a thrall in real life should you wear your Dreadhunger merch too much. If you catch yourself building demonic totems or attempting to use blood magic to cast spells at any time IRL, please see your doctor or buy more Plomo merch to amplify your powers. Okay, so the ad was cheap, but not as cheap as Plumbo's t-shirts available at plumbo.com forward slash merch. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> now look, I want to be very clear. Currently, Dreadhunger is not on Steam and will not be returning anytime soon. Our petition was unsuccessful, and whilst I'll be making a bigger video on that soon, you are going to need to look outside of Steam for Dreadhunger in 2024. And that brings us to today's video. Now, obviously, there are probably illegitimate ways to download the game out there in the internet. But for the public record, I am talking to you, YouTube TOS. I have no clue how to find such copies of the game. So because I have no idea how to do this, I couldn't possibly be making a guide to teach others how to locate the game outside of Steam. That's ridiculous. Let's be super clear right from the start. I have no idea whether or not going to dreadhunger.org would take you to a reliable Dreadhunger download with installation instructions right there on the website. There wouldn't be some kind of all-in-one ultimate package that you could download at the bottom of the installation page that had everything you needed already in it. Already translated out of the original Russian version and into the correct English language version for you ready to go with a readme that explains exactly what you need to do. There's just no way that that exists. Hell, I don't know why I even bothered to make a video just to very clearly say that I have no idea how to get the uTorrent or Qubit Torrent app, which probably could be used to install anything illegitimate, and I have no clue whether they'd be any use when installing Dreadhunger. I mean, I only know what these torrent apps are because there was a question at a pub trivia night about them. What was it? It was like, what's you torrent used for was the question. And they asked it and I answered, it sounds like a fast moving stream of water that you fell in. But when I got the question wrong, those pesky trivia hosts just rammed the correct information into my brain against my will and told everyone there that uTorrent was used to download illegitimate versions of games, books, movies, and so on from people on the internet. So thank you, Cassandra from Funky Bunch Trivia, for that information I didn't even want. Unfortunately, I really don't have any idea what to do once installed by the torrent app. I mean... You probably wouldn't be able to join games via the Steam friends list anymore, nor vice versa, due to it being illegitimate. So I'm just speculating here, but do you reckon you'd only be able to connect via a lobby IP? Or maybe just joining a public game or hosting one? I don't know. And I know what you're going to say, Plumo, how do I join IPs? And my answer is I don't know. There could be some easy to download Dreadhunger overlay out there that allowed you to easily join IPs for all I know. And the odds that there's a special version of that already downloaded in that ultimate package from before is just astronomical. There's no chance. And to install such an overlay would probably be super difficult. Like you couldn't just move the server overlay files into the Dreadhunger game files located at program files times by 86, Steam, Steam apps, common, Dreadhunger, Dreadhunger with no space, binaries, 
Win64 and just copy paste it into there and just make sure not to take over the tracker or any random file named like readme or anything. Speaking of which, if you got stuck along the way, and this is just speculating, you better hope that there's a readme file in the ultimate package that clearly explains how to do the whole process. Cause without it, good luck. Cause I've got no idea how to help you. In terms of actually how to use such an overlay, keep an eye out for my next guide video that will explain exactly how to work the Dread Hunger overlay to host your own modded and vanilla games of Dread Hunger, because that I do know how to do. And I guess that brings us to the end of what was a pretty useless video, hey? I mean, wow, I really can just make a video on nothing and you lot will still watch it and eat it up. So stay tuned for my future guides, how to not invest in the stock market, and an Aussie's guide to scoring a zero in breakdancing. If you enjoyed this pointless video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more pathetic, worthless videos like this. There's only one more thing left to do, so let's go to the outro. Thanks for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel for more creative gaming content. Now down below me are details for all my social medias, including my Twitter account, my Patreon and my Discord, which are all worth checking out. And details for my Twitch stream are just up here. There's also a brilliant other video you can watch right here. Thank you very much for watching. Good luck with all your endeavors. And remember to think just a little bit different.